So we are here with Joe, who we also call Ocho System. Um, that's what the streets say. That's what the streets say. <laughs> Joe is an Ivy League grad who played football and is now a trainer here in New York City. Also has a great background in nutrition. Joe's gonna talk to us a little bit about exercise snacking. Not the same as food snacking. But very similar. So basically what we often do is we have these small tidbits of food spread out through the day we want to dissipate hunger, right? But we think about exercise in a very odd way. We think about it in this one block that we think we got to get in at this specific time for this duration. When right. a lot of research kind of can show that's not really always optimal, right? So you can control your blood sugar a little bit better and even meet your fitness goals a little bit quicker if you were to quote unquote snack and break up that exercise meal throughout the day. So think of instead of a 40 minute workout, why don't you do three 15 minute workouts throughout the day? or you know, two 20 minute workouts. Humans are made for all this control, right? We set up these parameters to keep everything simple and not chaotic, but if we push ourselves a little bit at certain times throughout the day, we can see our health improve a bit more quickly. I'd rather have somebody do 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the evening than one 60 minute block in the day. Really? Because your fuel utilization will be better, you get those energy levels up, and you incorporate more movement, not necessarily more volume, but more blocks of movement throughout the day than you typically would. Okay, so as a trainer, you don't train like that, obviously, because that would be crazy. What do you mean? Like, you can't see your clients twice a day for 30 minutes each. Oh, that is very true. You know what I mean? Yep. So this is really good for people who don't necessarily see a trainer or, mm -hmm. or who don't have gym memberships, mm -hmm. um, because you can kind of break it up and do things for 20 minutes or 15 minutes in your own home. Yep. Um, or on the street or in a park. Say you're just walking down the block to go get something to eat. What we often forget is that we don't eat to hunt, right? Is that we simply, we had to hunt, so we had to eat previously. So take that same approach is that when you're walking, have a quick burst, maybe for a half a block or half a city block, and then slow it down. So as you notice, it's kind of a form of like an interval, interval training, basically. But those brief spurts, they release certain hormones and responses in the body that can help regulate, you know, your system a little bit more efficiently. Or even in the kitchen, right? I know Hannah, I like to call her mom, she makes the best meals. They're super dope. So even in scenarios, you can perform a circuit when, you know, that brisket in the oven will be taking a little bit longer. Right. Or those, you know, those veggies will take a little bit uh, to prepare. Okay. So instead of sitting around, you know, incorporate more movement. Okay, so like let's say I'm like making dessert, whatever, I've got something on the stove for 20 minutes, I've got 20 minutes. Yep. So I could be doing push-ups, I could be doing some jumping jacks mm -hmm. and just going through a little circuit of my own. Yeah, and think about something that also gets your heart rate up. A really easy way to conceptualize it would be an upper body exercise, a lower body exercise, a core exercise, and then like a metabolic conditioning. So think really aggressive jumping jacks or some quick hops in place, okay. stuff like that. So we are gonna put together a circuit by Joe. I'm gonna demonstrate it. We'll put out a little video so that you can go and incorporate this circuit and get your exercise snacking on throughout your day. Gotta eat.